Hello and welcome to Jody Giant Fetch. Um, I'm just down at the allotment today. It's an absolutely beautiful day as you can see. Sun's out shining. Uh, I'm going to have a few hours down here today to try and sort out the marrow bed. Uh, as you can see, the giant marrows are absolutely flying now in these pots. And they really need to go out. So, there's another one there. So I'm going to plant three out today in a, an area I'm going to prep. Uh, fertilise and rotivate. Needs weeding as well, but uh, I'll show you the area I'm putting them. I'm going to give it a good rotor view and um, put some bone meal, Vitax Q4, and plenty of um, Bremen rock dust. This is the area here. So I'm going to be planting them out. I'm going to be planting them out today. Uh, I've had to move quite a bit of timber and stuff like that, but um, I'm going to be lucky enough to get a couple of hours down here. So. Um, I'll show you again in a few minutes what I've sorted out when I've finished rotivating it and I'll show you what the, the rock dust and stuff's like uh, when I get out the truck. I've also brought um, quite a few old gorilla tubs from home what I grew potatoes in last year so I'm going to put that compost um, on the marrow patch as well um, and rotivate all that in so to give it the best chance really. Like I say I'm trying to beat a £100 um, marrow so if I do, if I don't is that my record so far my personal best 84 pounds so I'm aiming to get over 100 I'll be over the moon but yeah I'll see you again in a minute whenever uh, I've finished rotivating and stuff Hi and welcome back um, I've emptied all the tubs of old uh, potato compost over this bed I've still got another one to uh, put out there but I just wanted to show you what it was like it's decent, it's well compacted uh, compost and it's only been used once for potatoes, so it'll all be getting rotivated into this bed. Um, I'll be putting it in this bed 20 kilograms of Remin volcanic rock dust. Basically, what that does is it replenishes all the uh, trace elements and nutrients which have been washed out of the uh, the soil. Not all of them, but it helps to um, give some more trace elements and stuff like that to soil what's been lost over the years and taken out by plants. I've got a couple of kilograms of Vitax Q4, um, a kilogram of uh, sulphate potash, some bloodfish and bone, some grow more, and some bone meal. I'll be putting all this in evenly, um, apart from the bloodfish and bone and the grow more. I'll be focusing more on the areas I'm planting out with that because that doesn't last very long. That stuff um, as a fertilizer. So yeah, I'm gonna. I've got the rotavator out down there. Um, and I'm going to get stuck into this, get it all rotivated over, get all this added and then hopefully it'll be ready for me to plant out the marrows. So I'll see you again in a minute and hopefully I'll be finished. I'm sweating already and I haven't even started. Hi and welcome back, um, it's extremely hot, I'm absolutely pooped, uh, I've got a little bit more to do, the temperature in the greenhouse is, right you can see that's over 36, almost at 100, crazy, crazy weather, cabbage white butterflies, bloody all over, go on. Um, yeah, cucumbers in the greenhouse are ticking on nicely. I'm going to have a few cucumbers for a salad soon. Um, I need to get all these tomatoes moved out. The heat's getting to them. You can see the, the leaves are curling up, which isn't a good sign. It means that they're too hot. Temperatures are too high in here, even though I've constantly got the door open and the roof vent. Um, 
it's getting too hot in here. I've even got green shade shading on the outside. And um, it's it's really hot in here, as you can see I'm sweating. I'll show you the marrow patch. I've finished rotivating it and I've put Eco Thrive charge in the bottom of the hose and top dressed and I've planted three out. You can see the patch there. So I've got a small one over here, a medium one, and the biggest just planted out here. What I do is I put canes, cross canes over the stem but to hold it down so the wind doesn't blow it about and smash it. It's just to hold it down temporarily um, until they start putting out anchors that could start burying the vine. Um, I'm filling up this big 400 litre flexi tank because what I'm going to do is with that I'm going to fill it up like half or three quarters put a nutrient solution in and put a timer on and put a, a hose going down might be a seeper hose or I might just get a proper hose and put holes in it big enough for it to seep out um, and I'll have that on a timer so every day it'll get five they'll get five minutes of a nutrient uh, feed which will be mills A and B as well as a good water and every time I come down so I've got the rotivate over here and I'm going to rotivate down the back of this patch and put another one in and I think that's I think that'll be me for today. I'm absolutely pooped. Um, I've got to go home and put some uh, patio furniture up for the wife. She seems to like buying the flat pack stuff because uh, she likes to keep us busy. I'm going to have to put about 15,000 parts all together. I'm already knackered off today, but it's got to be done. So, yeah, I'll get this bit rotivated here, stick the rotivator away, and then I'm shooting off. I'll, I'll give you a quick view of what's going on in the polytunnel, even though I was just here the other day. As you can see, the, the giant onions are really starting to put on size now. Um, the giant Yorkshire leak at the back, that's starting to split flags almost every other day or two days. You can see the flags at the top are twisting on. Um, I need to fill the nutrient tank up in here. All these um, onions are looking spot on. These leeks are still not moving really, they're still tiny um, but there's nothing I can do about them really. I've got a kohlrabi over here um, which seems to be really flying now uh, to tell the truth. It was small, really small and weedy when I put it in within a week or so. It's, um, it's really took off. And the Cumbrian leeks they're all starting to shift now, they look spot on. I'm happy with these. Uh, they're all really twisting away, must have their feet in. And hopefully I'll get three leaks out of these for to put on the bench in my little lo local show. If not, I, I don't think I'll get any other leaks on the bench to be honest. These ones are a bit small. <laughs> okay, uh, so that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next one.